facts that have caught our eye. The kids range in age from 12 to 16, and the one carrying a gun was only 14. KSN crime tracker Shanda Brown looks at the trend of younger kids getting mixed up in gangs. Gun. Finding guns on gang members isn't an uncommon thing for Wichita police, but a run-in with gang members on Tuesday, similar to this one, was a little different. It was here near 15th and Waco. The police picked up several kids, the youngest just 12. It's um, kind of indicative of the pattern that we're seeing recently where younger and younger people are being involved in gangs. And, um, you know, even more concerning is kids of this age carrying firearms. Just this weekend, as we rode along with gang officers, several stops involved those in their mid to young teens. Officers tell us they've seen kids as young as eight claiming to be in gangs. Child psychologist Howard Brodsky says he's not surprised. These kids today are less supervised than any generation before. That, combined with the fact that kids are craving to fit in, makes these scenes all the more common. And the ages of those involved becoming younger and younger. Less moral training. They're probably getting less time with role models that are appropriate. So these factors kind of add up. And when you have very enticing role models on the street that are very accepting and cool, it absorbs kids real quickly. To counteract that influence and avoid run ins like this, Brodsky says the solution is one parents have heard time after time but takes extra effort at home. Know firsthand who your kids hang around, ask where they are, and follow up to make sure they're not lying. Hook them up, hook them up. As recent gang violence has proven, the stakes for parents not paying attention could be life and death. Shanda Brown, KSN News. Still to come on Kansas Nightly News, local kids get spring lessons.